Hello, this is Haku Devine, and today we're going to be reading SCP-5394. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Item number, SCP-5394, Object Class, Euclid. Special Containing Procedures, locating SCP-5394 victims is logically difficult to your isolated nature. Social media and other web accounts that have apparently gone unused for extended periods of time are to have their IP addresses traced. Local Foundation investigators must then follow up using appropriate cover stories and questioning potential victim regarding SCP-5394. Victims will be offered a course of psychological OO counseling prior to amnestic treatment. Any SCP-5394 instance of same must be kept in the Faraday cages at Site 135. Description SCP 5394 refers to 203 at the time of writing. Smartphones collected from around the world, categorized as SCP 5394 1 to SCP 5394 203. No parents have an identified regarding brand, location, or year of production. Instances are physically identical to their non anomalous counterparts. SCP-5394 er, instances, instances are most commonly found in possession and of people who live alone, have a small social group. Multiple instances of SCP-5394 have been discovered amongst the same social group. Engage in much of their human interaction online. Wait. Suffer from depression or anxiety, particularly social. Hang on. Are isolated? Hey! Consider yourself slowly. Freaking heck. This is so mean. Are generally distant from society in some fashion. Oh, crap. SCP-5394 is an sex manifest around two months after the early victims administer their, their SM card and occur in several stages. Firstly, a small number of text messages are sent from or two SCP-5394 will not be received despite having been confirmed as sent. These are typically attempts to initiate conversation between the victim and contacts already programmed into the, into the e device. This effect soon spreads to the victim's online accounts, including social media, emails, and or any other oh, forums and or any other community or sites they frequent. Gradually, more and more or message go. Messages go unreceived. After several months, the victim will be completely unable to communicate with anyone outside face to face contact. Attempts to uh, contact official organizations such as their place of work, general accessor, etc., will be unaffected. Beyond that, they cannot receive any messages, nor will, they, will any messages they send be received. Rarely do SCP 5394 victims suspect any anomalous influence. Addendum 3, Example of Interaction Influenced by SCP-5394 The below texts are recovered from SCP-5394-1, belonging to Harry Ram Emson. Messages are collated from his communications with junior researcher Claire Holloway at Site-135. Texts blocked by SCP-5394 are marked in italics, and have been determined through cross-referencing in the two phones. Spelling and grammar has been left unanswered. Unaltered. So this is between Harry and Claire. Hey, have you still got that book I lent you? The Becky Chambers one. No, sorry, I thought I gave it back to you. Shit, maybe you did. Sorry, work's been to hell lately. Been awful frazzled. Do you want to talk about it? I know you're not allowed to go into detail. I just thought you might want to have a moment. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> Just finds worth being a prick again. He's not even in my department. He needs to mind his own damn business. It always seems it to be me whining here, you know? If you need to, I'm here for you. Thanks, but I'm fine. Well, if you're not ever not. I know. I appreciate that. I'll tell you what uh, you can do. If you could lend us the next book, that'd be nice. 
Here's a surprise. I did not know that SCP Foundation researchers were allowed to have lives outside of the lab. Kind of thought that it would be really hard for them to keep these secrets. So I can't make it tonight. I got caught in for a shift, so late night for me. Really sorry for the short notice. No worries, you need a better job. Seriously, call centers are the worst. And that's coming from me. Quiz night's still every Friday, so we might be going then. Let me know if you're interested. So, do you fancy it or not? You know what? It's fine. There's always next week. Hey, so I know it's kind of late, but I've had a glass or two of fruit. Assesso, and it's awful boring here. So, who do you... I want to talk to... Oh, but you're my best mate. <laughs> okay. Hey, so I may also be missing Martha a bit. But it's fine. Hey, please, I need to talk. I'm like, fuck it, am I drunk texting her again? You promise? Hey, I don't mean to be a bother, but I do need to talk to you. Talk about something. You busy? Are you fucking serious? Huh? Fucking dickhead. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I don't get what I did wrong, though. Just not now. Going to bed. Seriously, Claire, I'm sorry. Do you need to talk? Sorry, I'll let you go. Hey, it's been a while. Just wanted to see if you were okay. I mean, it's fine. I get you're busy. It'd be nice to hear from you once in a while, though. Hello. Hi, sorry to bother you. No, it's been a while. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still doing those quiz nights? Uh, I wish you wouldn't do this. You know I worry about you, mate. Sure, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. So does it go so long without seeing you? I worry you'll forget how good looking I am. <laughs> JK. I don't bother you anymore. I promise. No, seriously, please get in touch when you see this. I miss you. And as you saw... Any attempts to actually get into contact or show worry for another human being were not sent. That's why they were in italics. Anyway, that was SAP5394. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!